Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, wasn't the Catholic Church invented in the early 300s AD by the Roman Emperor Constantine? Believe it or not, I still hear this question occasionally from certain Protestants. Even those who don't directly ask this often suggest that, at the very least, there was a pre-Catholic Christianity, and that the Catholic Church itself didn't exist until later. As with most things about history, there is some confusion because, well, first you have to say what you mean by Catholic Church. Originally, the Church wasn't called the Catholic Church. It was referred to as the Way and it only adopted the name Catholic beginning in the early 2nd century AD. Still, this is quite a bit before the early 300s, so what's the deal with the Constantine question? Well, in the early years of Christianity, many Christians were viewed as atheists because they refused to worship any of the Roman gods. The same was true of the Jews, but their religion was a special exception. In general, you had to worship at least one of the Roman gods, or Caesar, if you wanted to live in the empire. Christians didn't fall into this category, and the Jews had rejected them, so they were heavily persecuted. Many of the early church fathers were executed by Roman authorities, and the image of Christians being fed to lions in the Roman Circus Maximus was no exaggeration. If anything, it's been toned down in modern times. Lions rarely ate all of your body right away. The process could take a very long time. Things were only made worse when the Emperor Nero started a terrible fire in Rome and blamed the damage on the Christians. Soon, it was illegal to be Christian anywhere in the empire, but that didn't stop the faith from spreading. In the early 300s, after an amazing experience at the Battle of the Milvian Bridge, the Roman Emperor Constantine legalized the religion of Christianity and became a Christian himself. Constantine called the First Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, where they established the first part of the Nicene Creed, the date of Easter, and some early canon laws. Still, if this is what's meant by inventing the Catholic Church, it's hard to see how that would be. Neither early canon law, nor the date of Easter, nor the earliest version of the Nicene Creed are elements by which the Catholic Church's foundation can be identified. The Catholic Church does, however, have a couple of major differences from Protestantism. The belief that the Eucharist actually is the body and blood of Jesus, and the belief that the Bishop of Rome, the Pope, holds a position of religious authority over all others. So, all we need to ask is, did these two things exist before the early 300s? In the 66th chapter of a letter written to Antoninus Pius Caesar, St. Justin Martyr wrote the following about the Eucharist. So, likewise, have we been taught that the food, which is blessed by the prayer of his word, and from which our blood and flesh by transmutation are nourished, is the flesh and blood of that Jesus who was made flesh. St. Justin Martyr, the First Apology. This letter was written sometime between 155 and 157 AD, so clearly this understanding of the Eucharist predates the birth of Constantine. As for the Pope, the Pope at the time of Constantine was St. Sylvester I, who was preceded by St. Miltiades. Before him came St. Eusebius, St. Marcellus I, St. Marcellinus, St. Caius, St. Eutychian, and St. Felix I, who was the Pope when Constantine was born. The papacy goes back further than that, however, all the way back through Saints Clement, Anacletus, and Linus, to St. Peter himself, who was made Pope in April of 33 AD. Furthermore, people knew that the Pope was an important figure in the Church. We know this because of the first 31 popes, all but one of them were killed for their faith. The Romans sought them out to kill them because they knew they were major leaders among the Christians and they wanted to make an example of them. So the Pope existed right back up to Biblical times, the Eucharist existed, and so did the Catholic Church. Next, did Jesus really give authority to St. Peter? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.